guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a really easy beginner friendly baby blanket. So the reason behind making this blanket is I'm expecting my first baby and he should be here in just a few months so I'm definitely starting to make more things for him and this blanket was definitely one of the first things I wanted to make. It's very easy. It uses some very basic stitches but it comes out really cute. I'm going to be using Bernat Blanket Yarn, which is a really soft chenille style yarn and I really haven't found anything else in the marketplace that's comparable to how soft it is. So I definitely wanted to use this yarn when I was thinking up, you know, how I wanted to do this pattern. I'm also going to be using a Q size hook, which you may or may not already have in your stash. If you don't make a lot of blankets with super chunky yarn, you may not have this one, but it's I definitely strongly recommend using a Q size hook. It's going to change your tension and it's definitely going to have a very direct effect on how it comes out. And you don't want it to be too tight if you use a smaller hook. So definitely get that Q size hook if you don't already have one. And it's a super easy blanket and I hope you guys love it. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the Bernat blanket yarn I was telling you about. I used an antique white and I just used two skeins of this. And then this is the Q hook that I'm recommending. It's just a cheap plastic hook, not real expensive. So we're going to start with a foundation chain and you're going to chain 41. So go ahead and chain 41. This is going to be the longer side of our blanket. It's a slight rectangle um, and this is going to be the longest side. Here is this chain 40, 41. So after we've chained 41, we're going to work some half double crochets into each chain. So if you're a brand new beginner, make sure to look at your foundation chain and identify that top row. The bottom will look a, a bit more tight and a bit more flat, especially using this yarn and a hook so big. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's a half double crochet. And then we're just going to half cut double crochet all the way down. If you need any slower, um, more involved review in any of these stitches, please refer back to my crochet beginner series. Um, I'll have the link in the description box below for that, for the half double crochet. But I have videos there for a slip knot, a chain, everything that you would need to know in separate parts. So you can access, access exactly what you need if any of this is new or um, confusing. So we're just doing 40 half double crochets. You should wind up with 40. I definitely recommend counting your stitches. Here we are going in the last one. And then we're just going to chain up one. This is how your first row should be looking. Nice and soft and plushy. So we're going to chain one and then turn your work. So we're going to be working back the other direction and make sure you're stitching in the top stitches there. Don't turn it over and work in your foundation chain again. So identify those little V's on top that are your stitches you're stitching into half double crochet all the way back down and we're just going to keep going like this this is what your edge should look like nice and square and straight if you're a brand new beginner or even if you're an advanced um, more experienced crocheter I definitely recommend um, counting your stitches in at least the first five or ten rows just because I would hate for you to accidentally be increasing or decreasing and not realize it until almost the end of your blanket. I did that when I was a brand new beginner quite a lot. I didn't take the time to stop and count my stitches and I wound up with a lot of trapezoid shaped blankets because I would start with one size and end up with another size. So make sure to count and you want 40 half double crochets in each row. So here we are at the end of the second row. This is how it should be looking. And you're just going to continue like this and do 35 rows total. So here we are 
with our 35 rows completed, now I'm taking a blue Bernat blanket yarn and just slip stitching it on on one of the little edge areas. And I'm just going to single crochet all around the sides of the blanket. So all four sides I'm just single crocheting and you can see me going into the different rows of stitches there. So it's just insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. If you need help with a single crochet, again, I have my crochet uh, beginner series that can help you with that. Um, so you can start anywhere on your blanket. I chose to do an accent color just because I love color, um, and I think that it just trims it out really nicely. You could definitely, you know, finish off that second skein of the white yarn if you bought two skeins to make this blanket. Um, you should have a little left over and it's probably enough to do your border. In the corners there, I'm doing three single crochets in each corner. So in that same stitch right at the corner, do three single crochets in the same stitch. Um, but I chose to do an accent color just because I had some blue laying around and my baby's a boy, so I decided to go ahead and do that. But it's really up to you. You can do anything you want. You can leave it without an edging if you prefer. I just like how finished it looks with one. So you're just going all around all four sides with that single crochet. You can start anywhere. Um, I just kind of started on one of the sides in a random spot. It doesn't really matter because you're just making one big loop and coming right back around to where you started. Um, don't forget those three single crochets in the same spot in each corner. So here we are connecting back together. I've come all the way around my blanket. And once you get back to your starting point, you do your last single crochet and then we're just going to slip stitch. So in that first stitch that you made, just slip stitch it together and then you can snip your yarn and weave in your ends. And that is it. Your baby blanket is done. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.